8. It's based on a Ray Elf story. Probably the worst kept secret of Orange is the New Black is that it's based on a real story. Those who read the book before the show came out already know this, and the story is loosely based on the experiences of a woman named Piper who was incarcerated. It's always stunning and interesting when you're watching the show and you realize that some of the events you're witnessing actually happened. And this is definitely the case with Orange is the New Black. The accuracy and realism that this show portrays is no accident, because the real Piper was pretty involved in the show and makes visits to set quite often. But there are some pretty major differences between what happens in the show and what the real Piper actually experienced. For example, prison life is nowhere near this crazy and interesting in real life. While some of the more bizarre and shocking incidents in the show did actually happen, they didn't occur on a regular basis. In the book, one of the main themes is that prison is really, really boring, and that time moves very slowly. But of course a show where nothing happens would be really boring, so things were tweaked. This is something that Netflix execs might not want you to know about. 9. The cast wears Ray Al prison underwear while filming. One of the funniest episodes in Orange is the new black is when the air conditioning breaks down, and all of the women have to walk around in their underwear. In this episode, we see that underwear is part of the uniform of a prisoner as well, just like their iconic orange clothes. This was the first and only episode where we got to see these prisoners walking around in their underwear, and it led to some pretty hilarious moments, especially in regards to the male prison guards, who were clearly a little uncomfortable by this whole debacle. But while this episode might have been the only time we saw them in their undergarments, it wasn't the only time the actresses were wearing them. In fact, the actresses wear genuine prison underwear every single time they walk onto set. It's a way for them to get fully into character, and really feel what it's like to be a prisoner at a women's prison. 10. Taylor Schilling got injured during a love scene. Some of the most shocking moments in Orange is the new black art the explicit scenes. Sometimes these are heteros asterisk zoodle love scenes between a man and a woman, but there are also plenty of lesbian love scenes between prison inmates. This show definitely steps into uncharted territory in this regard, and for the most part, the show pulls it off with style. But one of these scenes didn't end go so well, especially for Taylor Schilling. She revealed in one interview that she actually cut herself on the name tag of her prison uniform as she was pulling her shirt off. The name tag somehow sliced her face in a freak accident, leaving a huge gash. Taylor Schilling admitted, I hurt myself. I got very excited. I took my shirt off and I scratched myself with my little name tag. There was a gash on my face, there was blood. The gash was so deep that the crew couldn't hide it with makeup, so if you look closely you can still see the cut in this scene. 11. Fern Cox's twin brother played her in pre-transition flashbacks. Another character who is integral to Orange is the new black is Sophia Burkett, a transgender woman who is trying her best to deal with her prison sentence. She's one of the most confident, outspoken women in the prison, and she passes the time by giving the other ladies hair cuts. Her inclusion in the show marks a turning point for trans actresses and actors, who rarely get this type of exposure on mainstream projects such as Orange is the New Black. Her character deals with many issues that trans people deal with on a daily basis, such as discrimination, loneliness, and alienation. One of the most interesting parts of this character's journey, and the show in general, is the series of flashbacks to Sophia vs. pre-transition self. Her post-transition character is of course play pilot Ern Cox, who was pretty well known across social media before landing a role. But what many people don't know is that her pre-transition self is not actually played by her. Her twin brother actually played this role, and many people wrongly thought it was a turncox. 12. Sarai Manning was thrown in jail days before getting the part. Another key character in the series is Pensataki, a dangerous and highly religious inmate who hates Piper. 
the character is portrayed by the very talented Tarine Manning, who has appeared in countless other projects and is a very well-known actor. But just days before she landed the part on Orange is the New Black, she found herself in jail. This is a bizarre case of life imitating art, as she would later be playing the character in a very similar situation. But it's probably safe to say that this wasn't the way to rhyme. Manny envisioned herself getting into character. She was arrested for assault with a former friend. She made the following statement, I made a poor, poor choice under stress and, you know, we do sometimes, as humans, we hit a threshold and we can snatch. I got into a physical altercation with someone I've known a long time. So stupid. So that was terrible and I went to jail and I deserved it. And I'm here to tell the tale and I never want to go through it again. 13. Natasha Lyonet was a rape owl addict. Natasha Lyonet is another amazing actress on the show, and she plays the character Nancy Nichols. This actress has had one of the longest and most impressive careers out of all the other talent that appears on Orange is the New Black, and has experience with countless movie and television projects. Her character is one of the most interesting in the prison, and she is clearly someone who really struggles with all kinds of things. Despite her inner turmoil, she maintains a very strong, confident exterior and is usually the first people to make a witty remark when something goes awry. But as it turns out, there are actually some pretty amazing similarities between Lion A and the character she portrays. One of the biggest conflicts within this character is her struggle with addiction. It's clear that her addiction to drugs is something that will one day destroy her, and she must find a way to get clean. But Lion A knows exactly how this feels, because she too has struggled with addiction over the years. In one scene, Mickey shows Piper a scar on her bed, which is a result from a bacterial infection resulting from drug use. This scar is a real mark on Natasha Lyonnais' body, and a relic from her drug-addicted past. 14. One of the writers left her husband for one of the actresses. One of the craziest stories that happened behind the scenes of Orange is the new black involves the writer and actor, and a romance that seems like it was taken straight out of the show itself. Lauren Morelli is a writer for the show, and actually discovered that she was a lesbian only a few days into the first few episodes. She admits, I realized I was gay in fall 2012, one of my first days on the set. In Piper and Alex, I'd found a mouthpiece for my own desires and a glimmer of what my future could look like. Things happened really fast afterwards, and the writer fell in love with Tamara Wiley, who plays the character of Pussy on the show. She then divorced her husband, and started dating the woman. This shocked a lot of people, but not too many actually found out about it until much later. Her husband took it pretty well, and was understanding about the whole thing. It seems like Morelli's process of writing the show and watching it being performed was all part of her inner process of finding her s after s zoology, which actually makes the show even more substantial. 15. The Ray Al Alex Boss says the show lied. Catherine Cleary Walters is the real Alex Boss. You can see the resemblance with these two photos, although clearly the glasses are the defining characteristic. As the story is mostly told from Piper Curtin's point of view the real Chapman we never really get to hear Walter's version of the events. But according to her, the show got a lot of things completely wrong, and now she's speaking out, we did not have F after effects in prison, said Walters, not even a little bit. I was not Piper's first, and I certainly did not seduce her. We weren't girlfriends. We were friends with benefits. I was not the older sexy, glamorous lesbian who snatched her from her pristine Smith College cradle. And what about the court case at the beginning of the show, where Alex Ross is implied to have spilled the beans on Piper, landing her in jail? Well, according to Walters, everyone talked, even Piper. They had picked the first round of us up two years prior to Piper's somewhat congenial visit from the feds. So, yes. I named her, she named me, and we all named each other. 
the fact was, we all thought we were doing the right thing, confessing, getting protection, and saving ourselves from certain death at the hands of a Nigerian drug lord who we knew would soon find we had all been arrested.